Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and today we're gonna to be creating this awesome mock-up illustration of a fake orange juice company. The biggest thing when it comes to presenting your work, whether it's a logo design work or a concept of a company or a brand or whether you're selling that concept to a client is the way that you present it and it's huge. But not only that, sometimes if you're a package designer or someone who does marketing, so making billboards or posters, this will be very useful for you to know. So this is what we're gonna be creating today. It just says squeeze over it quite a lot of the time. And that's because that's what the company's called. And we're gonna be creating this brand here and showing it through the poster. Now, what you don't know is that each of these images here are provided by Yellow Images who are sponsoring this video. All of the images that you're gonna be shown here when it comes to like the orange and the leaves and the water and the orange juice comes from Yellow Images through the Images 360, which is this really cool new feature that they've got where you can choose an image, but you've got basically a 360 look at the image and you can turn it change it and it's basically just every angle that you would need then you would just download that image very easily as a png high quality file so the first thing you want to do is get a mock-up so the mock-up is basically the image of the product that you're branding or trying to sell to a client so i chose this one because we're doing an orange juice brand the second one is to choose the assets so all of these assets and mock-ups are from yellow images and these are really special because they're not normal images when i click on this for example i get taken to this page where it says it's got 75 different angles so when i go ahead and click and drag i can choose the angle that i want and download it this is really good for photo manipulation and creating artwork or design marketing design anything you want like this the next thing you want to do is have a logo so i'm going with a logo type which is very simple i just put squeeze down with an exclamation mark and you can see there it's got like a little water drop there so that's not a really exciting logo but we can make the product itself look more exciting through creating this advertising campaign or poster so once you've got your mock-up i've got it right here you want to choose a few different things it's very simple these mock-ups they do it basically all for you with smart objects you can go to the cap here and then just double click on cap design and just put your cap design in here which is just squeeze choose your cap color choose your label design so the label design is exactly what you want on the label itself and i've chosen just this one here where it says orange drink william patterson design company and then a good old lorem ipsum down at the bottom so now i've got all of my stuff inside of the mock-up which is really easy to do to transport it out what i personally do is i highlight everything aside from the background one press command option and e which will go ahead and merge all of those layers into one and i'll just drag this layer out into a new document i'm going to scale this down by holding option and then there we go we're going to keep it there now for the background color i want to choose something quite light but kind of green at the same time so we're going to go for like a nice pastely green just for now um, and we can change this later on to be a bit bright a bit whiter but i don't want anything to sort of take away or distract from the actual orange drink so now we need to actually put some of the assets in here now my yellow images assets are basically just here and they're very clever i've chosen some of them to be different angles so we can get that nice look and the benefit of doing this with the actual image editor and not just doing it yourself is that the lighting always comes from the same direction so it gives a sense of global light the first thing i want to do is put this on now this is a png so it's transparent which makes it a lot easier we're going to put that on in the background just there and i'm going to actually duplicate that and bring it to the front very easily but with the layer options there now the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to give it a sense of depth i want the orange juice to be behind in the front as well so what we can do is just go ahead and flip horizontally if we want to we don't have to and then with this layer which is the front splash which i'm going to call it the front splash i'm going to go ahead and put a layer mask on top now if you don't know about layer masks i've got a video on the channel that's quite old that explains it in more detail but basically all it does is when i press x and choose the color black it will delete it with the brush and if i choose white it will bring it back so it's non-destructive editing and then what i'm going to do is go ahead into some of this i'm going to change my hardness to something a bit harder 
because I want to make sure that we're getting it correctly. We're going to go ahead and just take out some of this here. Then I'm going to bring my hardness back down to zero, my size up a bit. And we're going to go here and at the bottom, I want it to have this sort of rim. Scale down the size, bring the hardness back up so we don't get that feathery look. And just over here on the bottle, we're just going to go ahead and cut out some of this other stuff there that we don't need. We don't want this to be in there if we don't want it in the first place. The more accurate you are, the better with it. But again, this is just masking, so you can do it pretty quickly. And if you make a mistake, you can always bring it back. So for instance, I'm going to bring down this and I'm going to bring the hardness down of the brush. I'm going to go ahead and do this. So it meets the label pack here. So we've got like this cool splashing effect going on and I kind of like it like this. The next thing I want to do is put my fruits and leaves in to make it look even nicer. So first of all, I'm going to put this one in first and I'm going to scale it down. Now, the cool thing about this is that because we're in Photoshop, you can bring it to the back. So if you just bring it to the back there, it will already have the look like it's behind the actual juice drink but we can go a step further. What I'd encourage you to do is actually create shadows and you can do this through blending options, but there's an easier way and one that makes a bit more sense. First, label your layer. So this is orange right. Over the top of this, I'm gonna go ahead and create a shadow layer, which will only affect the orange. So that's a clipped layer. I'm gonna choose my brush, go to my black, making sure it's black, bring my hardness all the way down and my size all the way up. And it's gonna look hideous for a second, but when we do it, we're going to try and get a nice little taper there. When we do it, you can see that if we bring the opacity down, it gives more of an illusion of depth. So if I take the shadows off and on, it gives that more depth illusion. Now, normally you would do this at the end so you don't ruin it and have to keep creating different shadows. Now it's all about composing. So we can compose it really easily by just go ahead and creating more splashes. So for instance, if I wanted to, I could just scroll out here, we can put this on its side. I'm going to go ahead and put this behind the cap again. We'll have a little play around. This is where you can get really creative with it. So we call this front splash. I'm going to go ahead to use our layer mask tool, our masking tool here. I'm going to just do a really rough version to see what it would look like. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and refine it. So when you're masking anything, it's important to have a certain hardness on it. Otherwise, it's not going to look real and you want it to kind of look real. And all we're doing is giving the illusion of some depth here, making sure that when you're actually composing this, that everything looks balanced. It's the hard and tricky bit. That looks pretty good. What I'm going to do actually is creating a shadow. So bring the hardness down and I've clipped the shadow here on top of it. So it's not going to look any stranger. It's just going to look normal. We're going to put the opacity right down just because we want to, again, have that sense of more depth in there with the bottle. It makes the bottle look like it's popping out a bit. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put in even more stuff now. So I'm going to put in other oranges that we, we want to have just here and there. And we're going to eyeball them before we put anything else on. We're even going to put in some leaves as well because these leaves are really good counter to the oranges and they work really well. So we can actually stack these leaves and they work in the same way. So you can see that it's front angle leaf. You can see that it's a side angle leaf and you can see this one is more of a flat leaf. So even if we just import both of these in here, I don't want it to look crazy busy. I just want it to kind of like look like something's going on. I want this to sort of like look like it's it's working all in tandem with each other. So what I can do here is mask this part out. You'll use a lot of masking in this method, but it's super easy. Once you get the hang of masking at first, you'll understand what you need to do. It's just basic deleting shapes to give the illusion that it's working. You can see it's already starting to take shape. And all we're trying to do is give an illusion of something going on inside of here. So now I'm going to put in a feature orange, which I'm going to call a feature orange, uh, which faces up, but I want it to be sort of the same size as the other oranges. Otherwise you'll have a bit of like a depth or scale issue going on. So I'll put it here and then we're going to keep putting it behind layers to see where it fits best. So there we go. I like it there because it fits within the whole 
orange splash thing as well. Once you've got all your assets inside of this, it's important to actually add shadows and highlights. Maybe not highlights of this one because we've got global light and we haven't been changing rotation of the oranges, but it's important to have that global light and the shadows to define what's in front and what's backwards. We want to make it as easy as possible to view. So all I do to do this very quickly, especially if you're like me and you have a disorganized layer system over here, if you go up to here when you're in your selection tool, you can actually auto select group or layer. So my auto select is off, but when I press control or command on something on here, it will actually in the layers option show me that layer and it will select that layer. So for here, I've got like this green leaf here. So I'm going to call this green leaf and I'm going to put a layer on top, make sure it's clipped. What this does is it means that anything that's drawn on the layer above only appears on the layer below. And we're going to decrease the hardness or decrease the opacity until it looks correct so there's a bit of a shadow there and there you go thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please press that red subscribe button also make sure to go check out yellow images down below to get all of your amazing design resources thank you for sponsoring yellow images and i'll catch you guys in the next video see you soon goodbye